Hi and welcome to a new section where I look at some of the really old games I made and do a kind of a director's commentary on them as I, as I play them. This was really one of the very first, if not the first game I sent off to be published, um, a game called Gup, written in Assembler on the ZX Spectrum, the Sinclair Spectrum. It wasn't published, it was sent back to me with a note saying thank you for, for trying, but we'll pass at this point. I was about 14, 15 I guess when I, when I wrote this, but let's take a look at it. So the first thing I'll do is uh, define some new keys. Um, because I think the ones I originally picked uh, when I first wrote the game aren't, aren't the best for nowadays. I'm playing this on an emulator on a PC keyboard, so you'll hear some clicking in the background. Um, there's a few other options, view high scores. There's me and probably some friends of mine from the time. Um, and there's an input passwords option, which I guess you must get passwords in the game. Anyway, I'll start the game and, and let's see how we get on. So the idea of the game is you're this little guy with a little army hat on by the looks of it. And your job is to deliver Sluggo, uh, looks like I've got 23 bottles of Sluggo to deliver to um, various uh, aliens on uh, a planet. You can see this is someone's someone's bedroom, obviously a, a walking radio's bedroom. Um, so, and the little green pedestal there that he's walking up to, that's I've got to get there and drop a bottle on it. And that's a delivery made. So I have to find my way uh, around these levels um, and make these deliveries. You can see here there's uh, some pretty foresty looking graphics, little little huts, little pro uh, sort of crazy little plants with teeth. Um, and the <laughs> okay, here's an eyeball with, 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 a, with a little butterfly in, in front of him. So as you, you can see in the arts, not the not the best in the world. I obviously did all the graphics myself. One of the things you'll notice, quite a few places like like here, where I go behind things, and that's really to hide an issue um, called color clash on the spectrum, where you you tended to get these horrible messes of of color. Um, you can see here, if I go in front of this green thing, it just becomes just a horrible mess of of stuff. So I've made these blocks of color so that you, it looks like you're going behind things, but it's really just there to to hide, hide the issues. So I've delivered a couple of bottles. I'm going to uh, make my way across the map and let's see uh, see what else we can see. Okay, so looks like there's a, yep, another creature in here. So the things at the bottom of the screen, you can see here there's this cursor I can move with various different things. These are things I can use to, uh, to take out the enemy, but these are all I've got for the whole game, five of each by the looks of it. So if I get sort of like a zappy thing here and place it on the screen, when this guy hits it, he'll get an electric shot disappear. Now that wasn't him appearing at the door, that's the one who's chasing me. Once you've delivered stuff, for some reason they chase you. Not quite sure why I thought it was a good idea that you would be chased by the people you delivered this stuff to, but maybe it's just the worst tasting drink you could, you could ever find. Um, oh, okay, somebody's bathroom. Let's drop another trap. And a sort of winged snake there. And let's place another bottle on the top. Okay, so let's... Uh, oh, yeah, getting getting pretty, uh, pretty chased at this point. Uh, okay, I'm getting hemmed in a bit here. Looks like a snooker room, this, this one. Okay, I'm, out, I'm outside again. There's like a waterfall. What's this way? What else have we got? Little pink doorway, piranha plant, another piranha plant. Oh, some sort of shop. Let's go in here. Have a look. Okay, lights, clothes, music. Okay, so, okay, little three legged, whether it's three legged or six legged, I don't know, with a floating eye. I don't know what my inspiration was for half these things, but I think I can sneak up behind him and just. Oh, got it. Run. If I touch the creatures, I'll, t I'll lose some energy. Um, if I lose all my energy, I will be out of lives. Game over. Uh, I'll lose a life. And then if I... Oh, heck. And if I lose all my lives, it's game over. As per normal, nothing particularly different. The enemies kind of track you. Oh, track you even, even when you're not on screen. They still keep coming at you. Oh, he got got. That's good. I've done all that because I've got to deliver some stuff over here somewhere, I think. Uh, oh, that one. It's a different looking one. Okie dokie. Let's keep moving. It's like a printout. A clothes shop with a 
I don't know, it looks like an old printer, Stone Age printer. And again, no idea what my inspiration was for any of these graphics. Um, but let's uh, let's keep running. Um, oh, okay. There's plenty of things I would change. The first is, look, if I hold the key down, look how quickly that cursor moves. I didn't put any kind of time on it or, you know, tap. So I have to press it so lightly to get to the option I want. Let me just uh, zap this guy. And then we can have some more of this stuff. Um, okay, bat. <laughs> it just makes me laugh, the state of these graphics. See, what would be great is if they kept moving when you're off screen. So we could go in there. I could just wait a few seconds. He would theoretically go past the door. And I could go back in. But no, he's in exactly the same place. And I'll take damage. So I'm just going to stand here. Because as soon as I deliver the stuff, they'll come running after me. So I'm just going to give a bit of distance, deliver the stuff, and then run away. Okay, so there's 10 bottles to deliver on this particular planet. Um, and there is another planet as well. So I've got two more bottles to deliver here. I tried to make a map of the place on a sheet of paper to try and find my way around. Um, but it's actually proven... Oh, now I'm really cornered. Uh, okay, I might just run for it. Oh, look at the damage. Uh, it's not great. Let's go through here. Oh, man. So they've all ganged up on me. So the, the thing is, every single creature in the game will keep coming after you once you've delivered. So you can see here, it's <laughs> the, the frame rate's probably suffering a little bit. Oh, and that's what happens when you die. Okay. Well, if they're all in here and I can run really quickly, uh, maybe I'll be able to get out sneak out okay so they're still coming oh, this is a dead end see that's another foolish thing i did no no clue that the end of the screen is is a dead end so you you go running around the place and then you get completely cornered in the insides i did doorways so it's pretty obvious where where you could and couldn't go and look there's a doorway there so i know i can keep going i don't know why i didn't do some sort of door um on on all the screens but you know <laughs> I'm not going to do a director's cut of this one. Oh, just got got. But I think that's the ten bottles. So I've delivered ten bottles on this planet. I can go jump in this spaceship here. Oh, as quick as I can. If I can find the place to... Oh, I can't see anything at all. Alright, let me try. I'm going to have to kill some of these things. There's one. Oh, he's going to come at me too. Go on, get him. Yep, there's another one. Oh, look, they're all... So many enemies coming. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm, I'm, I think the guy in the room next to me is about to come out too. Oh, look, they're respawning at the edge of the screen too. All right. Yes, no, come on. It's got to be a... Yes. Couldn't even see. See, again, no way of knowing exactly where you are. And there you go, look. You, you fly between two planets. Amazing. Who would have thought it possible? And here we go. We land on... See, that's better. I can see where I am now. I don't know why I didn't do that on the other platform, but there you go. So this planet's a more sort of high-tech kind of planet. Um, you can see uh, pipes and all that kind of stuff. The other one was more jungly. This planet apparently is called a Metalon. Go figure. And you can see up there there's kind of like a monorail system, and you can actually teleport up, up and down on these layers. Now, the way I did... The reason why I did a teleport... It's because the way the Sinclair Spectrum stored its screens was really strange. It kind of stored the data for a third of the screen, and then the next chunk of data was for the next third of the screen, the middle third, and then the next chunk of data was the, the bottom of the screen. And so it's very difficult making things move. Well, it wasn't very difficult. It was, it was trickier having things moving up and down than it was left and right. So as you can see, this, this entire game is split into thirds. You can see it really clearly here. You've got a third at the bottom for the kind of HUD, got a third for the section you're running around in here and then you got a top third for the monorail which was just my way of cheating having to to do jumping i guess and things like that um let's have a quick look around see what else we can see there's a doorway over here oh i tell you what let me go back this way and see if i missed some i think i might have missed some bottles I was endeavouring to do a full playthrough. Whether I'll get bored before then or not, I don't know. Whether it's even possible or not, 
I'm not so sure. Okay, so we got this kind of, whether I'll run out of lives is actually the more more likely thing to happen. So this is like a TV, I don't know what that is. Is that a TV set? It's kind of a weird TV on, on a wheel. No idea. Okay, anyway, he's got his juice, so he should be happy. Uh, so a friend of mine helped me come up with the idea for this guy called Graham Watkinson, and his nickname was Wok. And so you can see there it says, Hi Wok. That was me, uh, my little call out to him. Okay, right, so I think I got those bottles. Let's run back this way and up here. And we should be able to find some new locations. Okay, this looks like a scout walker from Star Wars. Let me see if I can zap this guy, put something down there. So the way I drew the graphics to the screen, I used a command called XOR. So when I drew it, I used this XOR command to get it on the screen. And what that did was it meant I didn't have to clear anything. I could just draw him and then to remove him, I'd XOR him again. It didn't matter what the background was. It would uh, it would erase him perfectly. So it, it was a real quick and dirty cheat, really. Um, oh, I died. died again. Quick and get dirty cheat, but it, it, it achieved what I needed it to do. But it does end up doing that horrible, messy, pixely uh, effect whenever I do it. Um, I think I'm now getting a little bit lost. There's another table. Uh, let's drop a thundercloud. Oh, hit by lightning. Look at that. Okay. Can I deliver something there? Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, the, th the cake and the glue are pretty useless. Um, and I'll show you why. If I use the cake, you can see it stops him. But the problem is, I can't get out this way, so I still have to go past them. So I either wait until they come alive again, or I have to just take a hit anyhow. So again, <laughs> not the best idea. Uh, so the best, the most effective ones were very much the thundercloud. Oh, I'm going to die again. The thundercloud. And, well, the boxing glove, actually. I don't think I've shown the boxing glove. You can kind of punch them. Oh, look, I got a couple. That was... I got a couple in there. How am I doing? Six left, one left. I don't think I'm going to do this. But still, I think you're getting the general idea of how the game is. Um, oh, so there's another kind of like a little. I don't know what, oh, right. Let me let's do the boxing glove again. If I can pick it on my. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, I can't drop it. Am I out of? Oh, this is it. I think this is the end. <laughs> Oh, I just survived. I've no idea. See, look, it stopped dropping things. So there's probably a bug. Let's go up here. Stay out of the way. So again, the teleport's good because you can run across the top of the creatures. But then you could reach a dead end where you can't teleport down. And then you have to come all the way back again and get crushed by the uh, the train. Um, but in this case, I've actually got room to teleport. So that's good. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Bit of cake for you, which again is as we've pointed out, completely useless. There we go, we'll put a boxing glove down. When he comes back to life, he'll hit the boxing glove. It'll push him off the screen. I'll whiz past. Look at that, who'd have thought it? So obviously, you know, this is not a good game by any stretch of the imagination, but it allowed me to learn, really, um, which was the most important part, was learning about what does it take to make a game? How do graphics work? How do you animate things? How do you how do you do sound? You know, I had to do everything on this, and and it was a it was an amazing learning experience uh, for me. Um, it, 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 and it and it led to you know ultimately um, what I do for a living. So it worked out. Um, so from from very pretty basic rubbish looking things, um, I ended up making a career. So, a lot of it was luck, a lot of it was persistence, and a degree of hard work. Um, but I enjoyed it. I mean, making this game, it was it was great fun, you know. I and, and I, I, I thought, you know, it would, it would go really well, and I'd sell it, and I'd, you know, I'd get it published. I'd be, you know, I'd, I'd have my career in games that I that I always wanted. Oh, this is sad. I've only got one bottle left. I'm going to die. 
Oh look, I can stand right at the edge and avoid death for just one more second. Let me see, I wonder if I could drop a trap close enough. No, it's not going to let me. Oh, I got one. I wonder. I don't think... I have no idea. I'm really stuck here now. Maybe. Maybe one more. Oh! Oh no, he's come straight back in the door. And I'm out. Oh no, it's all over. Oh well. There you go. So I had one left to do. You saw pretty much all of it. Um, there you go. I've not lasted a full week. <laughs> My pay packet contains £2,200. So take it and get out. And there you go. Oh, I got a high score at the very least. So, just for all time's sake. Luckily, I have one of those kind of names that uh, fits perfectly into a little high score. I wonder if I actually... My full name is Jonathan. There you go. So, I wonder if I just abbreviated it to John just purely for high scores. And since then, just kept it. Anyway, that was a look at Gup. Um, no idea if you enjoy this kind of thing, let me know in the comments. Um, if you did, like or subscribe, that'd be perfect. And um, maybe I'll see you next time on one of these. Goodbye.